Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Here in the three draw, we got clamped up this uh, rectangular square of uh, steel. What we're going to make is a uh, tool post drill. So we could drill holes in stock this way off the tool post. So I got me a little 5 16 drill bit in here. I got it's all centered up. No, it's not centered to where you see it's not, you know, centered this way. But I want some more stock at the bottom than the top, so it's centered where I want it. All right. I'll bring you back. Let's bore that out. All right, folks. We got the uh, got the five sixteenths through there. All right, so now we're going to go with a half inch in there. All right, looking good, guys. So far, so good. All right, folks, we got the half inch done. The half inch drill went well, the 5 sixteenths went well. So, right now, we're sitting at half inch. We need to go three quarter, but we only need to go that deep. All right, so that's just about you know right in half about about half the block. All right, that's what our plan is. Let's see how she goes. All right, we'll be right back. All right, folks. Sorry about the choppy video. My camera is really acting up. But the point is, right now, what we're going to do, bring it in here. we're going to bore that bore to fit this bushing. And I don't need the whole bushing, I'm going to cut it. But we're going to fit the bushing in there. Same thing with the other side. So, when we're done, we'll have bushings in both ends. Okay. I got a little uh, high-speed steel bar here. Yeah, bring it in here. Got a high speed steel bar, and we're just going to reach in there shallow and bore that out. All right, all right, we'll bring you right back to show you what we got. All right, folks, all right, I added and subtracted a quite a few things on this, on this build. I, I subtracted the 3 H chuck, okay. I did make this longer on my throw because my uh, tool post sits in here guys and I wanted enough room to reach clear through a part okay all right I did add a tensioner screw that keeps my uh, spindle through my uh, bore true and straight and tight I can loosen or tighten that all right I wanted a quarter inch chuck because I don't I don't need a 3 8 okay the biggest hole I'm going to be boring will probably be a quarter if I need a 3 8 I'll get one those are readily available this is a half 20 3 8 chuck okay that's what we got that's what we built it's a little redneck but I don't care like I say it works let's try it out be right back okay folks we got our drill on there we got our part set up and I'm going to center I got a little center drill in there and I got it centered on the shaft let's hopefully I can bring it in here I don't know
guess it would help if I didn't take a hardened shaft to show you guys. Yeah, that's a hardened shaft. It's a more shaft, but hey, it's uh. Definitely got a center in it. Let's go a little more. Let's find it out. Now we're making chips, guys, so that is definitely a hardened shaft, though, I know that. It's a jack, jack shaft for a moor deck. It's made to run in bearings. So, yeah, let's pull it out of there and look at it. Yeah. Bad. Not bad at all. That'll definitely get you started on a, a drill bit if, to go through. And that's in a round bar. Okay? They didn't have to make a flat to start drilling. And that's what this is for. So, that's a good tool. We modified it, and it works. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Appreciate all my subscribers. Thumbs up. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.